Hi guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and today we're going to talk about my hair and how I've been styling it and all of that good stuff. I know I've had lots of questions about it. So right now my hair is wet or damp at any rate. I took a shower and uh, it's wet. So I have so many hair products that I have been using because I've gotten them in boxes or you know just wherever and with my super long hair I basically gave up on using hair products because my hair outweighed them all. So let me just show you kind of some of the ones that I've been using. This one is from IT Naturals, I guess. It's a 12-in-1 amazing leave-in treatment. I really like this one. I use this one actually with my long hair for detangling it, and it's just really nice and hydrating, especially for my bleached bits of hair. I do like to use this, and it will work as a protectant when you do use a blow dryer and heat tools and stuff like that. This one is from Nature Lab Tokyo, and this is the perfect volume blowout jelly. This is color plus heat protectant. So again, it's going to protect your hair and it also will help give you a little bit of texture and volume. So it w it feels more like a gel in your hair, but it has those added protection benefits to it. And then this one from Fat Boy is Boss Dog Styling Cream. And this one is just a cream and you can use this on your already styled hair or before you blow dry it to help um, just give it more volume and body, that sort of thing. This one doesn't really have protecting things in it, I don't think. I also have a bunch of like serums and stuff. This one is a texture mist, which I usually use after I've blow dried my hair. And then this one is an oil mist. Both of these are from Nature Lab Tokyo. This one is really lightweight, which is nice. So I do like to spray this on my hair sometimes, depending on how I'm going to style it. And especially again on the colored parts, just to give it a little bit extra hydration. Okay, and then these ones I usually use after styling. So we'll go over those in a minute. So anyway, today I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my bangs just because they're feeling rather dry today. I need to re-bleach them. And uh, so I haven't been like doing any of my usual hair masks. So I'm just gonna work that in just that part of my hair. I don't really need it on the rest of my hair, but we can just kind of smooth it out. This is a wet brush, by the way. I freaking love these things. Okay, so now that I have that in my hair, I'm going to use this one today. So I'm just gonna use a little bit, not too much. And I'm going to put this all over. And what I do is I rub it in my hands and then I basically use my fingertips to apply it to my hair and then kind of rub it back onto my fingertips. I don't, instead of like, smushing like I would my shampoo. <laughs> and I really wanna work this into like the roots, you know, to get that volume, especially at the crown of my head. I'm just gonna use a baby wipe to wipe off my hands because I don't like them feeling sticky. Okay, so now for styling my hair, if you've watched my videos, you can even just go back and like look at the thumbnails of my videos. And I've been playing with lots of different ways to style my hair now that it's short. So basically what I do for like a messy look is I put my gel in and then I just put my head upside down and blow dry my hair. And I'm not gonna use a brush, I'm not going to try to style it at all. I just want it dry and sticking straight up. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay. <laughs> All right, so basically from here, I'm not gonna use a brush, I'm just gonna use my fingers, and I'm going to basically just try to, you know, style it a little, oh my gosh, this hair especially just wants to stick straight up. So I'm gonna try to push that back a little bit, but see how much volume I have now? And then for my bangs, this is where I feel like is the most important part of styling my hair is how I do my bangs. I like my part to be right around here. I know some people like it a little more toward the middle, and of course, the younger generation is doing the like comb over, freaking way over there kind of a part. And I always do mine either kind of crooked or just sort of messy. So I'm just gonna do this and uh, get more of a messy part. I like them to go down over my forehead a little bit more because if they're sticking straight up, it's just not as flattering. So, you know, if and I need to, I'll even brush them or re-dry them to go across my forehead like this, just so that it cuts in instead of sticking up right here. It just, you know, gives it a nicer look. So I might add a little bit of product or something just to keep that down if I need to. But so you can see the basic shape of my hair where it's 
puffy and messy. And at this point, I can add some texture spray, which is great. This will give it some stiffer peaks and, you know, just, just adds some texture and you just kind of spray it in and then mess it in. Or one of my favorite things is from Fat Boy. This is their spray putty. This stuff is awesome. It really is just putty, but you spray it in your hair. So it gets in there nice and evenly. And basically you spray it and you barely have to mess with it. Just kind of do this a couple of times. And it just, it styles it, it pieces it, it gives it some texture and some funkiness. And then throughout the day, you can, you know, remodel it essentially because it doesn't dry down to a hard crunchy thing like the texture spray does. Um, a lot of spray on texture sprays feel a lot like hairspray as well, which you could also use. This is my favorite. This one is a nice soft hairspray. It's not super stiff. Or you could go in with like a styling cream or something like that. But with a styling cream, I like that for more of a quaffed do. So this is how I would keep it if I wanted a puffy, messy look. Let's zoom in. All right. So let me just try to show you the full 360 view. Having dark hair is tough because it doesn't show up as well. Okay, so that is the messy look. Now, if I wanted more of a sleeked, coiffed kind of a thing, first of all, I can untuck the bangs and have it more in my face. Although, honestly, I can't stand having my hair in my face. And this makes me want to cut my hair. <laughs> so. If I do want to make it sleeker though, I will get my flat iron out and just take the pieces and kind of curl them, but I don't want them to be fully curled. I want it to be straight, but just a little bit more shape to it. And, um, and I don't want it quite as sticking straight up either. So, you know, I'll try to keep it closer to my head so you can see if I, if, cause if I wanted more volume, I would go straight up and over, but because I want this to be a little slicker, um, I'm not going straight up. I'm just going down, but I am giving it a little bit of a turn as I do it. The back pieces for this are really important and I am gonna use a brush cause it is quite messy right now. I get the most amazing bed head with this haircut. The back of it just likes to stick straight up. <laughs> okay, and then as far as the bangs, I can either use a round brush to blow dry them. Like if I'm going straight for this from wet hair, then I would just use a round brush to do the front or even the back a little bit. Um, but since I have my flat iron out, Okay, so this is definitely for more of a sleeker, you know, coiffed look. And for this look, I would definitely add some of the oil mist just to give it that shiny, hydrated <laughs> sort of a look. It's, it's a really lightweight mist, so it doesn't weigh, weigh your hair down, which I like, um, but it still gives it a nice shine and moisture to your hair. You could also even use some gel to slick this starts this down or even like a like a pomade or something to get that part down. So those are the two basic looks. And from here you could either slick it down, tuck it behind your ears, you know, use whatever products to, you know, style it however you want. See, I don't like the way this looks out. That's why I always tuck it behind my ear. <laughs> Hopefully the back isn't too messy. <laughs> and again, I haven't put any styling products in it because I wanted it, I wanted to be able to show you multiple looks. So, okay, now for the braid across the front of my head, I actually really liked the way that looked. And I started my part just a little bit further down and just did a French braid. So as long as you know how to French braid, you can do this. Now, one of the things that I've noticed is either you can do it like where you only take hair from one side from the front and that leaves the back open, which then you can either, you know, 
try to stick up a little bit more or pin it down and it just makes it a little bit more pliable and you can kind of play with it a little bit more or you can use both sides and then you get more of a part right here so it looks you know more like like an actual you know like a parted braid like cornrows or something so you know depending on how you want to do it I like to just take the hair from the front and try to do you know just even sections every time you take hair and keep it as close to the front of your head as you can because you can always loosen it up later and I love the way the braid looks with the colors in my hair and then when I get to this side you could keep going if you just wanted a braid there but what I like to do is kind of take it back and then pin it back here so I'll start moving the braid a little bit back but I'm not going to stop braiding it just yet I'm almost running out of room just because my hair is so short okay so I'm just going to braid the last couple of pieces and then from there I'm going to try to push it forward a little bit just to give it a little extra volume and then pull some of these pieces this way and see what I mean because it's I didn't pull the hair from this side I've got some leeway with it and I can kind of get it to stick up a little bit more and I can pin it however I want it to be just take some bobby pins and throw them in there and you could use clips you could even do a rubber band first and then you know play with whatever bobby pins or cute hair clips you might have. Okay, so see I've got little stray bits poking out. So you can either just take some hairspray or a bobby pin or something, poke those back in. Um, I am going to use one of these pins and try to get this to move over a little bit. There we go, that's a little more centered. There we go, and now I have a nice little braid crown on my head. It's hard to tell where my pins are. <laughs> I'm going to show you the top of my head. Okay, so that is the braided bit. And then another one that I really like doing is you can either, I think I like it best when I do four of them so I'll part it in the middle and then just you know again with this sort of messy I just kind of turn it as I gather hair and it's you know not a precise thing and then again I'll kind of push it up just so it gives it a little back, bit of volume and then you could either use like butterfly clips or bobby pins or you know whatever you wanted and just kind of slide them in. I always do um, an X just to crisscross the bobby pins to make sure that they stay put so you can see. And then I'll do another one on this side and then two on the other side. These ones I'm twisting toward this direction so on this side of my head I'm gonna twist them this way. I used to do my hair like this in the 90s. I had short hair. Okay, so then from there you can see it's not that cute. So I would take this and take these pieces and kind of curl them definitely you could even use just a curling iron just to give them sorry here so that they stick up more and then i'll curl them in different directions and basically make a messy crown on top and then on the side i will try to you know slick this down so that it's not sticking straight out Okay, and then from here, I would just take some hairspray and, you know, get these things all sprayed down so that I still get that fun, messy volume up here. And then you can always kind of pull on the twists to poof them out a little bit more if you want to. Okay, let's give you the 360. It's probably not great. I can't see the back of my head right now. I don't have proper mirrors. Um, and again, I don't have any product in my hair other than that initial gel. So you can definitely make it look better from here. So anyway, those are the basic hairstyles that I've been doing lately. And then when I work out, I just put it into a weird little ponytail on the top of my head, but that's not very cute. So <laughs> so anyway, those are my hairstyles. I hope that that was helpful. I know a lot of you have been asking about my hair and how I style it. 
Um, this is from Amika and this is the shield. This is another one that is a protectant against heat tools, but it also feels more like a crunchy texture spray. So I like using that a lot too, especially if I'm going to do something like this so that I can get that that texture and that hold in there as well. Of course, you could add clips or whatever. I've done, you know, just a bandana, little extras, accessories, things like that. Um, I hope that this was helpful and you guys got some good information out of it. Let me know if you like seeing videos like this, if you'd like to see more of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.